Good morning, West Warwick High School. Today is Friday, February 16th, and it's a day C. The periods go 564, advisory 371. Just a reminder, if you register to donate blood, please stay in class until a student council representative comes to get you. Don't forget to have your permission slip and an ID if you have one. Triumph and Duckley applications are due today. Please see Mr. Livesey and Mr. Marchetti for more information. Do you ever wonder how the morning show is put together? Or do you have an interest in radio or TV in general? Then sign up for the media broadcasting class. See the message from Mr. Solomon in your advisor Google Classroom with instructions. Hurry up, space is limited, and the deadline to sign up is tomorrow. Do you have a hidden talent that you want to show off to your classmates? Then the coffee house on March 7th is for you. During this open mic night, mus musicians, vocalists, poets, artists, and authors are welcome to show off their talents in an informal setting with friends. See Mr. Brusso in room 121 to sign up. There are only 20 spots open for the evening, so hurry and sign up if you want to be a part of this. Mr. Paselli will begin accepting payments for any student wishing to take an AP test beginning on Monday, February 26. The cost of the exam is $94. See Mr. Paselli in room 121 with any questions. The annual Class Manage Basketball Tournament will be held on March 1st from 6.30 to 8.30 in the gym. All class officers should have their teams made and the money submitted by the end of today. And in sports, on the schedule, the girls' basketball team opens the playoffs on the road at Juanita Sanchez tonight at 5.30. On Saturday, the boys' and girls' indoor track teams will compete in the state championships at the Career and Technical Center in Providence. Also, the JV boys' wrestling team will be competing in the state championships at Coventry on Saturday. Also on Saturday, the gymnastics team is competing in the state championship meet at RIP. The following Friday and Saturday, the wrestling team is competing in the state championship tournament at the Career and Technical Center in Providence. Here's Ephraim with the birthdays. Happy birthday to Mystique Carter and Justin Dennis celebrate their birthday today. Also, happy birthday to Shane, Shane Berthwami, Destiny Burns, Kyle Chernow, Brennan Perkins, and Elizabeth Poirier who celebrate their birthday on Sunday. And on Sunday, happy birthday to Leticia Calderon, Dante DaCosta, Samuel Flint, and Brianna Wright. And now for the February vacation birthdays. Happy birthday to Logan DeSanto, Tyler Faria, Mario Gambardella, Michaela Gauthier, Cody Machado, Kayla Calais, Reese Logan, William Matson Lenahan, Kristen Bonilla, Erica Daniels, Karen Duarte, Abigail Fielder, Emily Aguiar, Talia Enzavino, Richard Corner, and Evan Michelle. Now for a look at the weather. Here's Andy D. And now for your weather report. Today's high is 54, low of 25. It is 46 right now. Sunset will be at 520. Today's forecast calls for morning showers, and they give today at 4 out of 10 on the Andromeda. Now for your extended forecast, at 2 p.m. it will be 52 degrees, at 6 p.m. it will be 44 degrees, and at 7 a.m. it will be 25 degrees, with snow in the e evening and then carrying on into Sunday. Now meetings and events with Jenna. Today's interview is with West Fork High School Band Director, Mr. Matt Livesey. Thank you for being here with us today. Well, thanks for having me. This past Saturday was the Berkeley competition. Can you explain what this competition is about? Yeah, so the Berkeley competition is like a, uh, a national competition. Actually, globally, there's countries from all around the world that compete in it. It's a high school jazz festival, um, and it's an opportunity. It has professional musicians from all around the world that kind of come in and clinic the bands. Um, and then above everything, it's a competition where schools come with their prepared music and you know, give their best shot to win the prestigious award um, of, you know, first, second, third, or honorable mention, fourth place. Um, and it's broken up into different districts depending on the size of the school and stuff like that. Yeah, it's a great experience for the kids. What bands are being performed in this? So in our class, we had um, schools from all over the, north, the Northeast, um, and I think one school from Chicago in our class. Um, there was three schools from Rhode Island in our class and m a lot of schools from Maine and Massachusetts. Uh, but like I said, it's, it's global, so they're all, it, depending on the class that the bands are in, they could be from Puerto Rico or um, there's a school from California, there's a school from Denmark, so, yeah. Some far places. Yeah, yeah. What place did each group come in? So we finished in our class seventh out of 16, which is really good. I'm really proud of the kids. Um, 
they, they really worked hard and, and did well. But in our class, the winners, the first place was Bethel. Uh, second place, I can't remember for the life of me the name of the school, but third place uh, was South Portland, Maine, and uh, fourth place was um, Bacon Academy, and those are the guys from Chicago. So, um, yeah, it was, it was a really great experience. South Kingston finished sixth place just above us, so um, it, was good, it was a good day all over, overall, yeah, we did really well. Is there anything else you'd like to say about these performances? Yeah, I would like to uh, give an honorable mention to uh, two students that received uh, the prestigious Judge's Choice Award. One is our very own Ephraim Calzada, uh, who received the uh, Judge's Choice Award with the Big Band, and Vincent Hang uh, received the Judge's Choice Award for the Jazz Combo performance. But great effort was put in by all the students, and they should be really proud. I know I am. Well, thank you for taking the time to be with us today. Yeah, no, thanks for having me. Today's holiday of the day is Innovation Day. And finally, it's time for today's piece of wizardly wisdom. Did you know that it would take a sloth one month to travel one mile? It's a long time. And now an important message from the Bullying Prevention Task Force. Online harassment has an offline impact. See it, stop it, and be upstanding. That's it for the morning show. From all of us, have a great day, wizards.